Well, the city of Boston is embarking on a program to rehabilitate and improve city parks. Boston got a big boost today on the Boston Common with a project that meshes public and private funding. Here's WVIN's Martin Morenz. Uh, we are all uh, part of history, at least part of the history of this park. The heavily traveled and once deteriorated corner of the Upper Common has undergone a miraculous transformation. The renewal of Brewer Fountain Plaza was celebrated today in downtown Boston. It's important that we prevent ourselves all the time and we protect and preserve our rich history to help keep our city unique. And that's what preservation is all about. The revitalization of Brewer Plaza was made possible after restoration of the fountain by the city. The Friends of the Public Garden led the landscaping effort with 32 new trees and grass planted all the way to the State House. The, the parks were in very poor shape. They were almost beyond saving in some respects. And so it really did require a public-private partnership. The city doesn't have the resources to do all that needs to be done. The Boston Common was founded back in 1634. It was once even a common area used to graze animals. It is now designated as a National Historic Landmark, with Brewer Plaza again standing as a central gathering spot. By accident of birth, here I am. John Winthrop is the 11th generation descendant of the first governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, John Winthrop. What would those folks think about our world today in terms of environmental problems, fiscal problems, foreign affairs, and so forth? Uh, I think they'd be very proud of this, less proud perhaps of our behavior in those other areas. The final phase of the restoration project will be putting a historic fence around the entire area to again make Brewer Plaza part of the Boston Common. In Boston, I'm Martin Morenz for News at 10 on WBIN.